there is another bloodsucker that is responsible for spreading diseases such as Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. It is an eight-legged ectoparasite that feeds exclusively on animal and human blood. Although there are nearly a hundred tick species throughout the United States, only one kind, the deer tick, is responsible for infecting thousands of people with a debilitating disease, an affliction that went undetected for more than four decades. On the, uh, the tips of the blades of grass are other forms of vegetation. The tick will crawl onto the host and then it will move up and uh, find a skin surface to um, embed its mouth parts. Then the tick will begin uh, sucking the blood and actually be attached to the host for a number of days. Left undisturbed, the tick will engorge itself with blood, then detach from its host. If the tick is a carrier of the Lyme disease bacteria, symptoms will soon appear. Usually, people within two or 30 days after the tick bite will develop a large red skin lesion at the site of that tick bite. Some people have no further problems from that point. Other people may progress into um, cardiac and neurological problems. The later stages of Lyme disease, uh, there can be uh, recurrent bouts of arthritis, usually the major joints. So Lyme disease as we know it today is really a, a complex of many different disorders. Although it is not fatal, if left untreated, the effects of Lyme disease can be debilitating. While antibiotics can be effective in treating the early stages of the disease, most doctors agree that the best method of prevention continues to be the early and immediate removal of any ticks.